we're going to show you how we image our new neoprene laptop sleeves. Condi has several new neoprene products. Neoprene is the wetsuit product. Um, it's a polyester foam. Uh, it's kind of thick. It's nice and spongy. And it's a great, great item for your laptop. This is the small laptop sleeve. It's uh, 13 by 11. Uh, we've already printed our our image that we're going to be putting onto the laptop sleeve. This, of course, the the word is reversed, so when it's imprinted onto the laptop sleeve, you'll be able to read it. We have here our protective paper, our Ditrans Pro Spray, and a common sticky lint roller, which we will be needing for our um, operations today. We've taken our Swingman heat press and we've covered it with a piece of Teflon to protect the press. It's just a thin Teflon protective sheet. Um, we'll also take some protective paper and go ahead and put that down. This is to, to eliminate any chance of uh, color bleed or um, dirt that might be on the press. We want to take our uh, laptop sleeve and we want to um, lint roll it. We want to make sure to get any stray um, material that might be on the laptop sleeve. We have to make sure it's completely zipped and throughout this operation we want to make sure our zipper is kind of hanging off the press just a little bit. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get all the um, moisture that might be in our laptop sleeve. So with the zipper hanging off the side we're going to take the laptop sleeve, put it on the protective paper on top of the Teflon, get one more piece of protective paper and this is just common thin uh, some people use butcher paper that they get from the grocery store. It's just a little throwaway protective paper. We're going to put that on top of the la laptop sleeve. We've got our press set for um, 400 degrees. We're going to give it 10 seconds. Real quick. We don't need, we'll just get a little less pressure on this one. It doesn't have to be. There we go. So we'll give it 10 seconds. And this will uh, get rid of all the moisture and else also help press it to a flat state so it'll accept the image a little better. Okay, that's 10 seconds. Now while it's still warm but cooling, we're going to give it one more sticky lint roll. So we're absolutely clear that we've got all our stray fabric hairs off of it. Then we'll take our image. Now, usually I recommend that you cut the image as about a quarter inch away from the printed area so you're real clear about where your image begins and, and ends in your placing. Okay, we have the image. We're going to lightly spray it with our Ditrans Pro Spray Glue Spray, an excellent product just for this. It's, it's nice because you can reposition your item if you need to, but yet when you're ready to have it hold, it holds. Making sure that the wolf is facing the correct way. The zipper in this case would go at the top. We're going to check our corners, make sure it bleeds over and we don't have a gap. And then we'll put one more piece of protective paper on top of it. So we have the Teflon sheet, protective paper, our laptop sleeve, our transfer, and now one more piece of protective paper. And then we're ready to press. This is going to be what we call full bleed imaging. We're going to cover the entire laptop sleeve with our image. And the prescribed amount of time is 90 seconds. Light pressure. That's our timer letting us know it's time to release the heat press. Some presses are automatic and do the releasing for you. This is a swing away, so we have to do it ourselves. Remove the protective paper. And we'll remove our transfer. And then we can display our fully laptop sleeve. And that's great, folks. Beautiful wolf.